Good evening, my name is Alistair Deacon, Chief Aviation Technologist here at the Amor Group. I'm here this evening to talk about uh, our new BlueFi passenger tracking solution. Today, Amor is the leading uh, supplier of Bluetooth-based passenger tracking systems, having implemented solutions at over 20 airports internationally. With these Bluetooth tracking systems, we're able to track the progress of your passengers at around about 15% of them throughout the airport process. However, in the last couple of years, and especially in the last 12 months, we've seen a tremendous rise in the use of smartphones. Along with this tremendous rise in smartphones has been the increased use of Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi is no longer limited to the home or to the office, but is used out in the road, especially in airports where there's many airports offer free Wi-Fi services. In the same way as we are able to track the unique Bluetooth signals from mobile phones, we are also now proud to announce that we can track the Wi-Fi signals as well from devices such as HTC, uh, Android phones and iPhones. We're using this Wi-Fi data to augment the Bluetooth tracking data and bringing these together in a single solution that we call BlueFi. With this augmented uh, tracking information, we're now able to track around about 50% of the passengers throughout the airport process. This allows us to give much better results, uh, cover many more areas, look at areas where there's dwell and retail areas, as well as uh, the check-in halls and the baggage halls, and get a much better picture of what's happening with the passenger process. This solution all feeds into Amor's new ACDB, the Airport Collaborative Database, which gives you a real-time view of your airport and allows you to make sure your terminal operations are hooked up with your airside operations. So we're looking forward to be able to deploy some of the first uh, BlueFi-based passenger tracking systems. The solution is now available and we uh, will be looking for some of the initial deployments over the coming months. So stay tuned to the uh, Amor blogs and hopefully you'll catch up uh, when we start seeing some of these systems go live in the very near future.